much. <laughs> We need to pop the roof first. Table. We're doing this all back to front. <laughs> oh. I have to stand under the shade, but um, it's hot today. So we made it to Nata Lodge and on first impressions it's it's stunning actually. The lodge we'll have to show you later on when we go and sit by the pool maybe because it's very hot. Did I say that already? Yes. <laughs> and cheap, 95 Pula each, which is one of the cheaper campsites we've stayed at actually. I think we're gonna do some bush kitchen activities today. Hey Chloe? Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is us for at least tonight. So I'm just making a bit of lunch before we are, I think we are going to head over to the pool and maybe cook a bit later. It is half two now, so it's kind of the hottest time of the day. So we're having a very healthy for us salad and some tuna pasta with some sweet corn and Harry's just having some knickknacks. Wow. Little and big, have you got the wrong one? No, this is good. This is quite healthy, isn't it? <clears throat> I just wanted to share a bit of equipment with you guys that we use all the time and has made such a big difference, just made our lives a load easier. And we are going to do a video talking about the gear that we use every day that we love whilst we're on the road. But I thought I would just show you this as Harry's filling them up. So these are little plastic pouches that we put our water in. They're awesome because they're not like a solid water bottle that we can fit them around other things that we've got in the fridge. So we just keep them in the fridge so that we always have cold water. We got these from Whitby & Co, an awesome bit of equipment that we really like and I wanted to recommend to you guys. There's um, one person in, in the camp that likes to use the cold water and then not refill the very handy vapour bottles. And I'm sure somebody obviously comes into the car and uses the water and forgets to fill them up because I don't think it would be Chloe that does that. It's not you, is it? No. No, it's not you. It's not me. Anyway, we're going to go to the pool now. Uh, you lucky guys are going to get some behind the scenes action of how we film a bush kitchen episode. Just spent, what, an hour, two hours chilling out by the pool. Now we're back against the sun because it's setting, so we better get on with it really, haven't we? I need to light a fire. Picked up some nice wood earlier today. I always thought we'd um, always take our own wood, you know, find wood, but actually the, the local people here go out and pick it up themselves and you can pay them next to nothing really for some wood, so it's nice to support where we can and so we end up buying wood quite often. So we're all finished and we're just getting the camera and everything table all set up to do our taste test and we'll let you guys know how it is and then we'll also tag the or link the video um, for this recipe so that you guys can see it as well. Cheers. Really good. 
Good morning guys. So last night's dinner was absolutely delicious. Just ignore this man here. <laughs> There's some keep fit. <sighs> oh, that's too much. <laughs> Um, yeah, last night's dinner was really, really good. We've just gone over to the lodge area to have a coffee. We're now gonna pack up camp after Harry finishes his workout. And I think we're gonna head to Elephant Sands today, which is somewhere that loads of you have messaged us and commented on our video saying that we must go there when we're in Botswana. So yeah, today we're gonna do it. First off, I need to do all of this washing up, which I left last night. So let's do it. Let's pack up and hit the road. We finally got our hands on some proper clips from Alucab. As you can see, far superior to the ones that the tents and roof conversions come with. And so far, they're holding up very well. Much better. So we've just pulled up to our camp spot for the evening and we are right by where the watering hole is. So the watering hole is here and there's been elephants walking past constantly since we arrived. Say hi to YouTube. Here's a bit standoffish this one. Mm. I think he's the boss of them because the other one's white. He's a boss. Very clean horse.
off without his mum. So last night, in, in the night, I'm always awake a lot of the night, and um, we had the, just the fly nets, um, so the canvas down, the fly nets, and at any one stage in the night, I could see probably five, six elephants. I don't know where else you can be, if anywhere in, in Africa, like this close to the elephants. And obviously last night we were sat here and there was probably, what, 20, 30? Yeah, yeah. Just, just here. It's just like quite an amazing place really. And if you read the, some of the comments on iOverlander and places like that, it might put you off from coming here because there's some quite negative comments about uh, the campsite being a little bit run down, but it's not what it's about really, it's about coming here and experiencing elephants and I think you must come here to, to experience it, don't you think? Mm. So yeah, we're glad we came. Mm. We had a fire last night and the coals were still really hot so I'm trying to make a bread with last night's coals. And it's been going an hour now so I'm just gonna check it. Oh. What we did this time is we used Chloe's cake tin in the poiki in the pot. So um, it kind of was a little bit smaller base. So it's rise, risen. God, I can't speak, what's wrong with me? <laughs> Looks good. Yeah. Really Very good. good. Nice, babe. Mm. This is our camp here. The elephants walk through here. And this is the little entrance into the lodge. There's so many elephants here today. I don't know if the camera does it justice, like how close you are to these elephants. I mean, this one could literally touch me with his trunk if he wanted to. Or maybe he's going to. A common misconception you may read about elephant sands is that the owners limit the supply of water to the elephants around the lodge. The winter in Botswana brings huge drought and water is scarce. The owners at Elephant Sands have not only pumped water to the watering hole in the lodge, but to several others around the lodge, some nowhere near the lodge itself. The work the lodge does for the conservation of elephants in Botswana is invaluable. 
Without these watering holes, many more elephants would not make it through these harsh winters. Good morning guys, we met up with um, Nikki and Dave who are from a truck called Wonder who are also from the UK and shipped their car over and have done an amazing, I think it's 18 or 19 months in Africa so far. Drove to a watering hole which is a bit further away from Elephant Sand. We saw loads of elephants there and we were the only ones there which yeah is always always more special when you're the only one with all the animals. And Nikki made an incredible chicken and leek pie with chips, homemade chips, chicken and leek pie. Oh, it was so good. And now we're up and unfortunately today we're gonna leave Elephant Sands. It has been so magical here. If you're thinking about coming, just do it. And if you're not thinking about coming, just do it. <laughs> I've really, really loved it. I'm actually really sad to leave to be honest. You have to be careful for oncoming traffic at Elephant Sands. Because oh, here. we'll see if he wants to come past us. No, I think he wants to keep drinking from the drain that he's dug up there. Or the pipe. Yeah. Okay. Hi. Oh, what a lovely evening and couple of days. We did a little nice game drive last night and then uh, Nikki cooked us a chicken and leek pie oh. in this little oven um, that they've got on the gas stove. It's called an Omni, Omni oh, oven. Yeah. Amazing. And then the, the uh, Belgian cakes she made us this morning. Oh. We almost feel like we want to follow them to Kasani so they can keep cooking for us. <laughs> Wonderful people. Just yeah. the best. Really nice. Yeah.